Congratulations, you made it through the first part of the home buying process. You got pre-qualified, you spoke to a lender, you got a pre-qualification lender, you found an excellent realtor, you went out, cruised neighborhoods, found that one home, got all of your documentation together, went back to your lender, you got pre-approved for your loan, you made an offer, the offer was accepted, and yes, now you're an escrow, you're gonna go buy your house finally after all of that. And then you get a call from your lender. Doug, how's it going, man? Thanks so much for all your help during this process. I really look forward to going forward, but I appreciate all the time and effort that you've put into everything. Yeah, Todd, about that loan. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but you didn't go out and buy a car yesterday, did you? Yeah, buddy. We were so stoked with how much money you saved us on our monthly payment with that great rate and that loan that we went out and got a new car. I mean, now that we have the cash, right? Well, actually, Todd, that's kind of the worst thing you could have done. Taking out that new auto loan really messed with your debt to income ratio. And I'm afraid that the lender just called me and can no longer offer you that home loan that we just quoted you at. No! Hello, hi, everyone. Todd here with Refocus Realty and Living in Kona. Com. Sounds like a nightmare scenario, doesn't it? And you're thinking, oh, that can't happen to me. It absolutely can happen to you if you're a home buyer and not paying attention. In this video, I'm going to go through a checklist of the things you absolutely should not do prior to getting your loan, once you've gotten your loan, and once you go through the escrow process before you fund the loan. So stick with me. You're going to want to watch all the way to the end. Okay, first things first, definitely do not go out and buy a new car. Don't go get a new car loan and don't even pay all cash for a car. That cash may have been part of the qualifying package that the lender used to make sure that you qualified for that rate and loan. Next, don't make any large cash deposits or transfers into any of your checking or savings accounts or even into your IRA and investment accounts during the loan process. Whatever you do, do not falsify or exaggerate your income or the assets that you have because when you go into the pre-approval process, the lender's gonna wanna see all of that documented on hard copy and then that could blow up the entire loan. Do not apply for credit anywhere and do not apply or take out a new credit card. Try to avoid any hard inquiries to the credit reporting bureaus on your credit score. Do not go on even a minor cash spending spree until the loan closes. Any change to that amount that you have already earmarked in the bank for your down payment or your closing cost is gonna be absolutely necessary prior to the closing of the loan. Going along with that, don't overextend yourself. Try to keep your debt balances about 30% of your available credit at any time during the transaction. Absolutely do not co-sign on anyone's car loan, home loan, or any type of rental application. Definitely, definitely stay current with all of your bills. Do not make a late payment or do not miss a payment on anything during your purchasing and escrow process. If you're looking at this as an opportunity to consolidate some debt, it's not that you can't do it, but definitely speak with your lender prior to making any of those consolidations. Do not change your bank. Don't change the bank that you do business with and do not close any credit cards, whether with that bank or with a third party institution. And as for credit cards, do not apply and open any new credit cards. Do not request for maximum limits or your limits to be raised on your credit cards and do not max out all of the available credit on any of your credit cards during the process. And last but not least, I'm gonna say this twice, don't change careers. Don't change careers. If you're an electrician on the mainland and you're moving to Hawaii to become a tour bus operator, that would be a change of career. That is going to be a huge red flag to your lender. Any one of these could disqualify you from getting your loan, which means you will not be able to fund and close on your home. Wait until you've closed on the home the loan has recorded and you have the keys to the house before making any changes in your financial life. Well, I hope this was another educational video that can help you as a home buyer to be able to successfully navigate the home buying process. If you have further questions, if you're a new home buyer 
or you haven't been through the process in a while, please feel free to book a one-on-one -on -one call with me either by Zoom or phone at the links in the description below. Aloha and mahalo for watching.